these little babies will be hitting the tackle shops around mid-March and they are a range of ready tied zig rigs. Now as you're probably aware we already do a massive range of ready tied rigs that you've seen in the shops and I'm sure you've all used one or two of them over the years. These are another fantastic addition to that range. Now we've done them in four lengths, you've got 6, 8, 10 and 12 foot and you've got them obviously in barbed and barbless as well. Certain fisheries are, you know, make you use one or the other. Now to keep it slightly simple though, we're only doing it in a size 10 hook. When you fish a zig rig, you're fishing a buoyant hook bait up in the water. For that reason, you tend to fish a small hook so that it's not as blatantly obvious. Hence the reason of the size 10. It's that the mix is a very fine wire hook. When coupled with a buoyant hook bait, it's absolutely perfect. Importantly, when you use a zig rig, we've done them in different lengths, obviously to suit different depth lakes. What you must do before you cast them out is actually have an idea what you're casting into. There's no point chucking out a 10 foot zig in only, in only six foot of water. It may sound obvious, but it's just gonna be sitting on the surface and floating away, not doing exactly what you're expecting it to do. So do get your marker float out and check the depth properly. Once that's done, they actually come complete with some free hook baits. Some of you may have used them in the past, but a piece of foam is often all you need. Personally, I like to put a bit of goo over them, get them soaking in a bit of flavour just so they've got a little bit more attraction, but they're there and come free with it as well. As you can see, you get three pre-tied on the spool. The eye there is covered with a small piece of silicon which sort of opens up the gate, makes it a bit wider, giving it a much better chance of hooking the fish once they come into contact with it. At the other end, you've got a, it's tied with an overhand loop and you can use that to connect via a quick link or loop to loop, whichever's your preference. Now, Ali's a big user of the zigs and he always adds an anti-tangle sleeve. It just aids it, whether you're using a, a drop-off inline lead or a more standard lead clip, it just pushes it away during the cast to help prevent tangles. Um, I mentioned the depths before. If once you find the depth of the lake and it's much shallower than even the shortest of the zig rigs, you simply cut one down and tie an overhand loop in and away you go. That's pretty much it. As you can see from the packaging, you've got two different colours, black and green. One's barbed, one's barbless. They'll be hitting the shop soon.